what you talking about now, Saint? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore seen underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can always always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge of freedom i mean one more step further that under that breaks that down so the infinite consciousness which is the circle and the finite consciousness which is the square both 360 degrees but within this then you can divulge into the masculine and the feminine principle you feel what i'm saying that we all understand that the feminine principle is infinite therefore it's associated with the circle you feel what i'm saying the masculine principle is finite therefore it's associated with the square you feel what I'm saying? So then now, just one more step further before I, you know, and I'm going to get into what I'm talking about. Um, so then you then break down science and mathematics, right? Science is the ability to qualify. Math is the ability to quantify. You feel me? So quantification, because quantification is a definite thing, you can, it's going to be associated with uh, the infinite principle, which is associated with masculine, which is associated, I mean, not the infinite, the finite. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Rewind that. So, Mathematics is going to be associated with the finite principle, which is associated with the square, which is associated with um, the, the masculine principle, as I said. The infinite, which is the feminine, is going to be associated with science, the ability to qualify. Qualification is, is subjective. You feel what I'm saying? Quantification is objective. Like when you quantify, it is what it is. But when you qualify, you can, it can be based off of the information that's there. But that's as far as I'm going to get with that. Because I'm just unraveling it to make it all make sense. So, when we have these, these first nine chakras, right, the finite, we have to figure out how many degrees are in each one. So everybody, you know, we talk about oh, 360 degrees, 360 degrees of consciousness and all of this shit. Yeah, it's okay, you can get there. You can get there, but are you currently there? And the, the, the chakra that you're operating from determines, you know what I mean, if you're in that capacity or not. You feel what I'm saying? So... To solve it, you got to solve for x. So you're gonna have 300. You're looking for 360 degrees out of the nine chakras. So you basically have to add each one up: one x, plus two x, plus three x, plus four x, because you have nine. Nine times x It's gonna give you a total of 45 x. You feel what I'm saying? 45 x, 360 degrees. X is gonna be eight degrees. You feel what I'm saying? So each chakra carries a capacity of eight degrees. Not, I mean, no, no, no. Let me rewind it. Each chakra carries a capacity of a multiple of eight degrees. You feel what I'm saying? The root chakra is a, the, the maximum capacity degrees of consciousness on a root chakra is 8 degrees. The sacral will be 16, the solar plexus will be 24, and so on and so forth. But another key component is that the chakra above it carries its own capacity plus the capacity beneath it. You feel what I'm saying? So the root chakra, the maximum capacity the root chakra has is 8 degrees of consciousness. You feel what I'm saying? This 8 degrees of consciousness carries over to the sacral. That sacred chakra has 16 degrees of consciousness plus the 8 degrees from the root gives you 24. And so on and so forth up until you get through all of the chakra systems and you're at the position of 360 degrees consciousness from the ninth. You feel what I'm saying? So that's in the finite. You can't carry it over to the infinite. In the finite, in the squared aspect, you have this, this dynamic of, uh, of the energies, right? So when you, when you understand that full capacity... You can start to, like, you can't go and say, okay, I'm going to work on one degree of consciousness a day. But then you understand what level of awareness you are. And your thoughts are then going to be filtered through that capacity. You feel what I'm saying? So, when you consider these um, these eight degrees of consciousness, right? A very pivotal point is about to be made right now. These eight degrees of consciousness, it goes up to a certain position. So, um, when you look at, when you look at what the world tells us, right? Doctors, scientists, say, they say we use 10% of our brains. I mentioned it before. They say we use 10% of our brains. No. The reality is that we use 10% of our consciousness. And here's how. And this, like, this shit is going to really be freaking. It's going to make sense, though. So I mentioned that the basis of the chakras, you know, the first three. Because I'm going to get into dimensions, too. So the first three um, chakras, you have the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus, right? Okay. The root chakra... Is associated with your foundation and your survival. Your sacred chakra is associated with your emotionality and your sexuality and your feelings. 
and then your solar plexus chakra is associated with your um with your personal identity, right? If you do not know who the fuck you are, you cannot ascend above your solar plexus. Period. There's no way fans and maybe's about it. If you do, if you're imitating somebody, you think that is you, you're masking it, you cannot elevate above that shit. It's just not gonna happen. So here's where it gets here's where it gets dope.